I don't know. I was, uh, I wrote my first poem when I was maybe four and we went to Kashmir. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> it was a super poem. I said, uh, it was in Marathi because I started speaking Marathi. My father is a Maharashtrian. Okay. My mother is a Gujarati. And uh, my mother tongue is Gujarati because I write everything in Gujarati. Correct. But <clears throat> uh, as a child, I learned both the languages simultaneously. Uh, because I was living, my, my grandparents were living with us. Oh, okay. So we went to Kashmir and I, I don't remember having done this but uh, i wrote <laughs> i wrote ki himalaya la lagli thandi tyani ghatli devdara chi bandi so devdara are pine pines correct uh, pine trees and i said ki himalaya ne thandi lagi etle ane devdar vruksho ni bandi peri so my father was very happy i'm saying this because after that i kept writing these kinds of very sporadic uh, things. Correct. Which my father thought were creative. Uh, my mother thought were that it was, there was some creativity there. And that's why they allowed unbelievable things. Like I was a very, very bad student. Okay. Uh, all throughout my uh, school. Very bad student. Uh, in fact, in my school, some of my school friends still uh, think that I'm dumb and somehow I'm still managing all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was very bad. And both my parents are professors. Yes. So for them to have a kid in the family who is not doing well in studies at all and still not worrying much about it and let it be was an incredible uh, thing so i uh, i was a wanderer i was a traveler i was a rakhadu uh, <laughs> in a in a real sense and they allowed all that and in turn i used to maybe give those creative uh, sparks okay uh, so it was a very bumpy very strange kind of a childhood or a school life that I uh, I had but because they let me wander and let me be what I was I made very strange uh, friendships uh, with people of different stratas I was friends with uh, uh, with a lot of people a middle class would not be friends uh, okay. with at Amara Dhobi no Chokro. Then there was a Basti right behind our uh, our house. I used to go there and be friends with uh, uh, those kids. So as a child, I saw a world that a normal middle class maybe would not uh, <clears throat> see. see. And I think that is popping up in my heart uh, through those years and i owe that to my uh, my parents i think you have written a play uh, of course this is phenomenal to get an insight like this mm. uh, because for professors if their child is <clears throat> not good academic wise it's a big bummer for them yeah. but still allowing their kid uh, as as i think love belief and uh, maybe they recognize your art way before than you did maybe i don't know but no, i don't uh, know they may, i think i they just thought that ye nahi ho raha hai nahi ho raha hai yaar aur kuch to kar lega kar lega so that yaar. kind of a belief was uh, there and i think if it was something else then i would have been a very average kind of a student agar mane dhakka mariya ho jo mane to i would have been very mediocre i would have managed but very mediocre any but they, they they let me fail and thought that these uh, uh, failures and in turn whatever time i'm getting for myself roaming around in the world Correct. would ultimately uh, bring something you know unique out of me 
definitely definitely yeah. so that was an incredible insight and i thank i, I can't th- thank them enough for that we we can't thank you enough know? <laughs> <laughs> subscribe for more such amazing short clips of the podcast you can watch the full episode on the channel and stream all the episodes on all the major streaming services see you in the next episode